As we delve more into scientific discoveries of the super small, like the microscopic atom, and the very large, like high frequency electromagnetic radiation, we'll find that recording measurements becomes increasingly cumbersome. To get around the problem of recording very large and very small numbers, a system using exponents has been invented. For example, instead of writing a million as 1000000, we can write it as 10 to the 6th. In the number 10 to the 6th, the 10 is called a base, and the 6 is called the power, or exponent. We say that 10 is raised to the power of 6, or to the 6th power, which means that you multiply the base times itself over and over and over, however many times the exponent says. So 10 to the 6 equals 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 1 million. 10 to the 2nd, or 10 squared, equals 10 times 10, that's 100. 10 to the 3rd equals 1,000. 1 billion is 10 to the 9th. 5 billion is 5 times greater, so we can write it as 5 times 10 to the 9th. This is all called exponential notation, since we're using exponents as shorthand to represent repeated multiplication. The classic way of writing numbers, the system we're all familiar with, is called decimal notation. With exponents, we can raise any number by any power we wish. 5 to the 2nd is 5 times 5, or 25. But we use powers of 10 in exponential notation because in our decimal system, we can make numbers 10 times larger or smaller by simply moving the decimal over one place. Say we start with 7 and multiply it by 10. Even though we don't write it, the decimal starts out right after the 7. Multiplying by 10, which is 10 to the first power, moves the decimal one place to the right, giving us 70. 7 times 10 to the second moves the decimal two places to the right, giving us 700. How about 7 times 10 to the fifth? When converting this to decimal notation, the decimal is written five places to the right of the 7. In order to show that the decimal has moved five places, we need to hold those places with zeros. It is the moving of the decimal that makes the number bigger, and since our number system is base 10, each move makes the number change by a factor of 10. That's why we can record the place of the decimal with an exponent of base 10. Moving the decimal one place to the right makes the number 10 times larger, which is the same as multiplying by 10. Moving the decimal one place to the left makes the number 10 times smaller, which is the same as dividing by 10. And dividing by 10 is the same as multiplying by 10 to the negative 1, because 10 to the negative 1 is 1 over 10. So if we multiply 9 times 10 to the negative 4th, we move the decimal from right after the 9, 4 spaces to the left, giving us 0 0.0009, or 9 ten thousandths. Therefore, in exponential notation, the exponent on the base 10 tells how many places to move the decimal and in what direction. A positive exponent moves the decimal to the right, while a negative exponent moves it to the left. Here are more examples. 4.2 times 10 to the third is written in exponential notation. For decimal notation, you look at the exponent on the base 10 and move the decimal three spaces to the right. That gives 4,200. In 4.2 times 10 to the negative third, the negative exponent indicates the need to move the decimal three spaces to the left. Remember, negative exponents are not negative numbers, but simply mean that we move the decimal to the left on the number in front of the power of 10. If the number in front of the power of 10 is between 1 and 10, we call this scientific notation. A number written in scientific notation with a negative exponent is always less than 1. 23 times 10 to the fifth is exponential notation, but not scientific notation. To convert it to scientific notation, we must change 23 to a number between 1 and 10. We do that by moving the decimal so that it ends up with only one non-zero number to its left, giving us 2.3. But since that would decrease the value by 10 times, we must compensate by multiplying by 10 somewhere else. Instead of 10 to the fifth, we make it 10 to the sixth. Thus, 23 times 10 to the fifth becomes 2.3 times 10 to the sixth in scientific notation. Let's look at 0 0.000345. To write this number in scientific notation, we need to put the decimal right after the 3. That would move the decimal to the right 4 places. To compensate, we have to multiply by 10 to the negative 4th, giving you 3.45 times 10 to the negative 4th. You can always double check that the sign on your power of 10 is correct by asking, did moving the decimal make the number bigger or smaller? Make sure your exponent does the opposite.
There are two major advantages to using scientific notation. One is that it is more economical to write very large and very small numbers. For example, 0.0000000000023 is more easily written as 2.3 times 10 to the negative 15th. The second advantage is the ease of multiplying and dividing large numbers. If we want to multiply 3.4 times 10 to the 9th by 2.3 times 10 to the 5th, we can simply rearrange the factors, grouping the decimals together and the base tens together. When multiplying two base tens with exponents, you simply add the exponents. So 10 to the 9th times 10 to the 5th becomes 10 to the 14th, and 2.3 times 3.4 is 7.8, so the final result is 7.8 times 10 to the 14th. The rule to remember here is that when multiplying powers of 10, you add the exponents. Now what if the powers of 10 are both negative? We do exactly the same thing. We multiply the decimal numbers together, and add the exponents on the base 10. So in this example, we get 5.1 times 10 to the negative 19th. In this example, one exponent is positive and one is negative, but we proceed the same way. Negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6, so we get 4.9 times 10 to the negative 6. So when multiplying powers of 10, simply add exponents. When dividing numbers in exponential notation, we subtract the exponents of the powers of 10. We always start with the exponent in the numerator and subtract the exponent in the denominator. Here's an example. 6.2 times 10 to the 18th divided by 3.1 times 10 to the 15th. First we divide 6.2 by 3.1, then we subtract 18 minus 15 to get 3 as the exponent on our 10. So the final result is 2.0 times 10 to the 3rd. Sometimes subtracting the exponents results in a negative exponent, but that's correct and fine. Here, 15 minus 18 results in an exponent of negative 3. Let's do another division problem. 4.5 times 10 to the 7th divided by 9.0 times 10 to the 4th. We divide 4.5 by 9 and multiply it by 10 to the 7 minus 4, which is 3. That gives us 0.5 times 10 to the 3rd. You'll notice that this answer is in exponential notation, but not scientific notation. To put it in scientific notation, we must make the decimal number between 1 and 10. Therefore, we need to move the decimal one space to the right, which increases the number by a factor of 10. We must counterbalance that by decreasing the exponent from 3 to 2. Here's an example where the powers of 10 are the same in the numerator and the denominator, which leads to an interesting observation. Following our same procedure, we divide 6.0 by 2.0 to get 3.0, then we subtract 12 minus 12 to get 0 as our exponent. Here's the interesting part. That 10 to the 0 came from dividing 10 to the 12th by 10 to the 12th. And we know that dividing any number by itself always equals 1. So 10 to the 0 must equal 1. This is not special to 10. You can take any base raised to an exponent and follow the same logic. To divide 5 to the 8th by 5 to the 8th, you subtract the exponents to yield 5 to the 0. And we know that 5 to the 8th over 5 to the 8th equals 1, so 5 to the 0 must equal 1. Any number raised to the power of 0 equals 1. One last point about scientific notation. When adding or subtracting numbers in scientific notation, you cannot add and subtract the exponents on the powers of 10. That was just for multiplying and dividing. What you can do, though, is rewrite the exponential notation in a way that makes the powers of 10 equal, then add. Here we need to add 2.3 times 10 to the 8th plus 35 times 10 to the 6th. We can make the 10 to the 8th a 10 to the 6th, but to do so, we need to counterbalance that decrease in value by increasing the value of the 2.3. Decreasing the exponent by 2 means we need to move the decimal to the right two places to compensate. So we can write 230 times 10 to the 6th. Then we can add it to the 35 times 10 to the 6th, giving us 265 times 10 to the 6th. Notice the power of 10 stays at 6. Now, if you want to convert the sum to scientific notation, you can move the decimal two places to the left and increase the power of 10 by 2, yielding 2.65 times 10 to the 8th. Scientific notation will come in handy more often than you might think. As you work with more extreme scales, you will need to convert, combine, and compare measurements in ways that scientific notation makes easier. Hopefully this video will be a helpful reference.